first two commands in the image menu are levels and curves. For the most part, these each do a very similar task. They just have a different look to them, and with curves you can have more control over the details. I'll open levels up. I get what's called a histogram, with three graphs within it, for the red, green, and blue colors in my image. Every digital image is made up of a mix of red, green, and blue. So every color can be adjusted using those three. There are three sliders in levels, black, gray, and white. Slide the black in a little, and the dark areas get heavier. Move the white slider in, and the light areas get lighter. You have to be careful when using these, as the further I go in, the more light areas of this image get blown out to pure white. Areas of the rock at the top right and bottom of the image are gone after I move the slider too much. The same can occur with dark areas if I drag the black slider in too much. The gray slider adjusts the mid-range tones of the image. Move it to the left for a lighter overall image and to the right for darker. A good rule of thumb for a levels adjustment is to drag the two end sliders, black and white, into where the histogram or graph starts to rise. This typically gives the best range of light to dark in an image without overdoing either end. In the lower left is a reset arrow. Click it and the sliders move back to their original positions. Curves works much the same way but allows control of the red, green, and blue colors individually. Click the buttons at the top to change from all colors to just red, green, or blue. So I have this line that runs through the histogram. I can drag it in from the bottom left or from the top right, which does the same thing as dragging the black and white level sliders in. Click anywhere on this line and a node is added. To adjust the midtones, like with the gray slider and levels, I'll click near the middle. Now I can curve this line to adjust lighter or darker by clicking and dragging. Add another node to curve the line more. If I add one about halfway between the middle node and the bottom one, I can do a nice contrast adjustment. Drag left to decrease contrast and right to increase. If you aren't happy with the adjustment using the node, you can get rid of it by dragging it off the edge of the histogram. Or just click the reset arrow to get the plain straight line again. Now I'll adjust the colors individually. Select red and add a node in the middle, and then drag up and left to increase the amount of red in the image, and the opposite way to decrease. The same goes for green and blue. I'll turn this water to an emerald color by decreasing the red and blue in the image and increasing the green. So you can see that Curves is very powerful and one of the adjustment tools I use most often in Pixelmator.